Hello, and welcome to The Vinny Factor. With me are my guests, Jonathan Swift, Daniel Defoe, Samuel Pipes, Alexander Pope, Richard Nixon, and a gorilla. Hello, gentlemen. My first question is what made you want to become a satirical writer? Let's start with Mr. Swift. Well, Cousin Vinny, it really wasn't that hard of a decision. Well, to tell you the truth, it had a lot to do with my high school guidance counselor. You see, I had this undying passion to be a trash man as a child. I wanted to be the greatest trash man of all time. And she told me to be a satirical writer. So I became the President of the United States. That's all fine and dandy. But getting back to Swift's point, Mr. Swift, go ahead. Go on. Go on now. Um, okay. L like I was saying, I wrote my uh, satires on modern day political issues because I felt that that was your <laughs> I think a gorilla had something to say. Really? Is there anything in particular you can remember about that? That was an excellent insight. Mr. Pope, do you have anything to add? I drank milk and got tuberculosis. I don't see paper. I don't see typewriters. I don't see any of that. Because I have tuberculosis. Okay. Thank you. What a touching story. I just wanted to say one thing. Go ahead, Mr. Defoe. Please. Call me by my pen name, Mr. Heliostrapolis, Secretary to the Emperor of the Moon. Um, okay. Uh, go ahead, Mr. Heliostrapolo Dicuser, um, Ilgapinaculus. I was arrested in May of 1703. Why? Okay, next question. Which of your writings do you feel are the most influential of all of your writings? Of them. Samuel Pipes, go ahead. I'm actually glad you asked that question because... Pipes? What a stupid name. Actually, it's, uh, Peeps. Peppies? Pippis? Peeps? It's peeps. Peeps. That's it! <laughs> what the hell is Nixon even doing here? He didn't write any satires. And why are we talking to a gorilla? Gorillas can't even talk! I... I resent that comment. I'm an idiot!